Hello, I'm a third year graduate student uh, doing a PhD in maths and over the past uh, 10 months or so I've been trying to uh, come up with a kind of better system for taking notes and so in this video I'm going to talk about the systems for uh, the systems that I've developed for taking better notes. So previously all that I would do would, would be that I would, I don't know, maybe uh, write some notes, just rough notes or something on things that I would want to understand and maybe sometimes write things up in a in a kind of better document. But I kind of felt that uh, I was basically wasting a lot of time not really taking notes effectively. I'm going to start by talking about reference managers. Um, so a reference manager is basically just a way of keeping a list of all the references that you've um, ever ever read. So this is my, um, so I use uh, some software called Zotero and basically whenever I read a paper I can add it to Zotero. So um, if we go, so for example if you um, go to some so this is archive, but this works better. But, I mean, this works on any, basically any, um, any journal. Uh, so we just look, we just find some random paper, uh, and we can add this to Zotero by using this browser extension. So I can um, add this paper to my Zotero library, and so this is added the. Um, this is added a reference for the uh, for the paper, and then it's also added the PDF, and it's named the PDF something sensible, and it's stored it in a nice place. So if we um, open the containing folder, then it's stored this paper in this kind of uh, folder that relates to the name of the author. So this is using a plugin called Zotfile to Zotero. And then I also have another plugin called Better Bib Text that generates these nice citation keys. And then it also um, adds the citation key to this uh, field down here, which is important for um, when I take notes on the papers. So let's say I've downloaded a paper. Um, let's go to these lecture notes. It's kind of a better example. So this is a... Um, a Zotero item for a lecture course that I'm currently taking. And you can see that there are these PDFs here, which are the lecture notes that I've taken from the, uh, from the course. And so this is one element of my note-taking system that's kind of carried over from what I was doing previously, which is I still take notes on paper uh, or on the iPad, um, kind of whilst going to a lecture course or whilst reading um, whilst reading a paper or textbook. So the, um, the way I have this set up is that on Notability, um, so on Notability I have this, um, I have a folder that has the name of the citation key. Um, so you see I have this, these, these notes and if I name something that, if I name a note in Notability that has um, the same name as a citation key or the file name contains the citation key, then I've set up some software that automatically syncs this to my Notability. And so this is useful because it means that if I'm looking at a paper that I um, say haven't seen or say, say I read a paper a while ago and then made some notes on it and then I go back to it and I look at the, look at the entry in uh, Zotero and I can see that I've made notes on it whereas I guess in some cases I would forget that I've made these notes um, yeah and so basically this um, reference manager can um, can keep track of my references and then also keep track of any kind of literature notes that I've made um, 
on the papers or textbooks that are in, in the library. No, so the reference managing and um, notes for, you know, taking notes on the individual references um, is basically similar to what I was doing before. But the biggest change that I've done is I've started writing notes in a, using the kind of Zettelkasten system. Um, so originally I started off using Obsidian to do this. Um, so Obsidian is some software where you can write notes in Markdown and it's very easy to um, link between notes. Uh, but this wasn't very good for what I wanted to do because I, would, I tended to find myself kind of writing definitions or theorems or whatever. And then I want to reference the specific theorem um, as you would do in a, in a LaTeX document. So you would say like, you know, CRF, the theorem. Uh, but you couldn't really do that very nicely in Obsidian. And then also it would mean that if I wanted to um, export the notes uh, into a LaTeX document, so basically paste them all together and make a LaTeX document, then because it's written in Markdown, it kind of requires a bit of work. Um, so what I did was I kind of wrote some software called um, Tech Notes, and the idea is that it, it basically is basically Obsidian, but using LaTeX instead of Markdown, um, and also with without a graphical user interface. So um, this uh, Slipbox folder on my computer is a uh, just a clone of this repository, um, but then I have a, another repository which is my notes in here. So you can see that's why there's this weird um, folder icon in the uh, Tech Notes repository because this is like a um, another GitHub repository that's inside the the GitHub repository. Um, so, yeah, so for example, uh, we can look at a note that I was um, recently editing. So, this command um, manage.py edit uh, opens the most recent document. And so, the most recent document that I was writing was called limiting. ADHM SW solutions. Um, and so I've set up some uh, keyboard shortcuts in Vim to, you know, like open the PDF and whatever. Uh, and so this is a kind of a, a typical note. So it's just a proposition with a proof um, and it's very short. So the idea is that you basically write really short notes that only contain kind of one idea. And so from a maths point of view, that basically means writing a note that either contains a proposition, theorem or whatever, or a definition. And then if these notes kind of require some information from other notes, so you can see here that I kind of link to this ADHM SW equation because I don't want to define what the equations are in this note, then I, then I can just say, go and look at this definition that I've written somewhere else. So this works really nicely. And then it means that if you say you wanted to, say I was able to prove a, a theorem or, or something important in one of these short notes, then if I wanted to then write a paper on this, all that I would need to do would be to um, go through, uh, to start with the theorem, and then whenever I've got a, whenever I link to anything, then I can just uh, copy and paste the notes that, that link to it, and then this would then make a paper. Uh, so maybe a, an easier way to see this is uh, I can look at the, the network view of the notes. So Obsidian has a um, kind of fairly famous uh, way of viewing your notes in a network, so I thought I would um, sort of implement the same thing. Uh, so if I run this command, then you can plot a network of the notes that you've made uh, in LaTeX. So for example, I don't know, I have this note, note on the implicit function theorem, and then this just contains a proof of the implicit function theorem, I guess. Um, 
yeah and then so you can you know click through and read the notes like this. And this is very convenient for both um, exporting the notes into a paper, like I was saying, but also if you, you've made notes on a result and then a couple of months down the line or something, you need to go back and reference the result, then it's very easy to read these because first of all, it's kind of written in your own words and I tend to find that that's easier to read. But then also it's not like you have to kind of refer back to a textbook where maybe there's a theorem that's kind of towards the end of the text that you that you want to understand but then it's very difficult to read because maybe there's some kind of like implicit notation that's been defined earlier on in the paper and so really these notes are written in a way that aims to be very easy to read in the future uh, in particular to kind of save time uh, when reading them Another benefit of using um, Zotero for the uh, reference management is that you can um, very easily export the library into a, a BibTeX file. And so what I do is I uh, put this file in the, um, the base directory of my Slipbox folder. And then the way that TechNotes is set up means that you can always access the um, citations from the BibTeX file. And then you can also set Zotero to automatically update whenever you add something new. So you never have to kind of deal with the um, BibTeX or Bib. And so whenever you want to cite anything, you just look at a paper and then you have uh, the citation key right here. So yeah, that's been an overview of the, the note system. Um, so some references on this, there's a book called How to Take Smart Notes by Zonke Ahrens, which is really what I read to, um, to kind of inspire me to make this, I think. So I think maths works quite well for um, this kind of Settlecaston method because when people write papers or textbooks or lecture notes, they kind of already split things up into kind of small ideas and then link them together. And so it's kind of easy to uh, reverse engineer, say, lecture notes into slip box notes. Um, and so because of this, I kind of take notes in a similar way to the book by Tiago Porte on uh, building the second brain, where he's kind of less uh, interested in really understanding uh, things that you've come across and then kind of implementing them or putting them into this kind of network of notes. He's more interested in about just saving things as much as you can and then organizing things later. Um, so I think I'm kind of closer to the how to take smart notes way of doing things. But if there is a kind of, if I'm just reading something and there's a definition or something that I'm not, if I was to write it myself, I would write it very similarly, then I, yeah, I don't need to like, um, make sure I completely understand it before, say, adding it to the um, slip box. I can just, uh, I can just add the definition there. Um, yeah. So there's links to uh, tech notes and the uh, way of syncing Zotero with notability in the description. So thanks for watching and I might make some more uh, videos like this, so subscribe if you're interested.